Hi, this is Kathy from Scrappy Counselor Designs and I'm here to show you a finished uh, mini book that I made for my husband um, as a prototype but I also had ordered and made some special custom dies from AccuCut and it's on a fishing creel and this is the um, the first this is the basket part of it and um, that's what this, the back side looks like uh, anybody of you have ever used um, AccuCut and then this is the second part of it and this is the mini book part but this is what I came up with after it was all said and done I have, um, I started out, I used um, black chipboard for the actual mini book and this is some paper that looked like baskets so I just cut that out and placed it on black chipboard and on the inside here my these flies actually my husband used and he has fished with a couple of them and then then on I made a couple of journaling um, and photo mats and then I put a little fish which I glossy accented but these trees here are Tim Holtz and I just cut them out in different paper and um, and then on the front I added these um, little charms there's a, a seven and a little car and then just some fibers just to make it look really really oops I was out of frame sorry um, just really a lot of fun here and so then as we turn the book then this is page two and I got some of these photos just off of the um, internet just googled um, fly fishing and it gave me some really awesome photos so I went ahead and print them out and then I made them into um, pockets and around the photo I actually put some twine and knotted it and there's an arrowhead here and I glossy accented a fish and then put another little charm right there and it's kind of hard to get this whole thing in, in um, one frame but this is the next picture um, page and there here's a place for a photo these are Jolene um, Oh, lost my train of thought. Embellishment. My friend bought me that, so I went ahead and added them. The next page, the, the paper was really a fun paper to work with. It had flies and just a lot of things to do with, with fishing, actually. And then I used some more Jolies. And there's a place for a photo, which I'll probably be putting them in. The next one I used the um, Creel basket again made it into a pocket and um, put some journaling mats and photo mats into um, the pocket and then I took these a lot of the embellishments from his fishing stash actually this is a embellishment but all the rest that came I actually got from his fishing room okay in the next page um, same thing I made this into I put a velcro latch here and this kind of cascades into um, so a place to put a lot of photos um, right there and I just kind of kept that together with um, um, a fastener a velcro fastener so and then I used an avocado bag from Trader Joe's I believe and I made it into a net to hold my photo mats I made some photo mats 
I made several different kinds of photo mats actually and then I also made a um, one like this and it was just from the, the paper line and this just has a tab on it Then I made this little tiny book and um, it's a place to this ha holds a place for photos right here um, I put a mat right there so I can put photos or journaling opened it up and these hold a place for journaling and it's just a little cards um, so when you open it up each side then you can there's a place for journaling but there's a nice um, spot for a photo right there and so that was kind of fun to make really easy little book to make and I put all this into the um, into the net so there's lots of fo places for photos. My husband made the, the fly. And then on the back page, oops, next page, not back page, um, I glossy accented a huge fish and uh, made it kind of pliable actually. And here's a journaling spot. You can put a little photo there. And then the next page, more die um, stickers and die cuts and then a nice place for a nice large photo and then on the back side um, it just has has fishing on it and that concludes my fishing creel mini book um, it was a lot of fun to to make and if anybody is interested in the die cuts please contact me at Kathy Mann 1994 at comcast.net. Also, I will have it on down below, but it's also available on my blog at scrappycounselor.blogspot.com. And I am working on an Etsy store, so hopefully I'll have that up and running soon so you can all stop by. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for stopping by and watching. You guys have a great day and have fun crafting.